Hi guys, welcome to Night of the Blackwater. Uh, I am Ben, and today we're going to continue on using the um, Night's Watch Rains. Uh, Night's Watch Rains? No, yeah, I think Night's Watch Rains. My, my brain. The Night's Watch um, crossing deck that um, I was using yesterday. Um, I will put description. Uh, I was also put a link in the description below. I'll put, I'll do it. I, w I was going to play a different deck. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Friends DB seems to be down, so um, I couldn't. Um, so I, I couldn't d uh, download the deck. My own fault for not doing it last night. Was at work. Good luck, have fun. So yeah, so on the so on the say Night's Watch Crossing, it was gonna be Tyrell Crossing. Um a deck that ooh, interesting. Deck that I have been messing around with. Uh, I think we're gonna mulligan that. Um <clears throat> that's better. Um, I guess. So we go with that, 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 and that, and go done. <coughs> Lack of a natural third ranger. Um, hmm. Calling the banners for six. Probably the best. Let him go first. So one's going to be a theme on like, uh, was it the bitch remembers, which I've actually got nothing you can steal with uh, see bitch if it is. Just trying to remember what the North remembers does. Um, Make sure my mic is coming through okay. Obviously, yesterday I had some issues with that, and then it does appear to be coming through. Okay, Asher, right. Uh, yeah, sure. So, just want to say what I'm reminding myself what North Remembers does. Each side sacrifice a character or location can be non limited. So it can be limited, that's fantastic. So let's put God I'm lacking a power icon, that's really frustrating. Let's put that out. Let's put that on him. Put him out. Probably should put him out first and do that and go done. This is a power challenge, which will be unopposed. Can't we do not so? Gives me a power to steal, which I quite like. Intrigue. So we're going to defend with both. And then we're going to use Satin to stand Aemon. to let this go unopposed. And we 
use Eamon to save him. So we're going to start off with an intrigue challenge as he has no intrigue icon standing. Not a bad chat, not a bad one. And then we'll do military with all of them. For 11, he can get higher, I know, um, but it involves him tapping everything out. Yeah, cool. And we've done. We're going to get counting coppers here. I want to see some cards again. We're going to let him go first. Uh, Arranging passing ah, Craven. There we go. That's a good card to see. Or milk. Hmm. Are there no attachments. There are no attachments. Okay. Well, that's all the ships. Is that what you want? Yeah, that's what you want to get for. Okay. What do you want to get? So we're going to have three, four, five, six. So that is enough to get the ranging party. You have to give me a natural power icon and Craven Her. Uh, okay. Oh, sorry. Um, sorry. So this is a bit. Of a, this looks like a Drown God Stark deck, which is interesting. No gold, so we're just going to let this go. Okay, so we're going to start off with Intrigue. Defends. That's fine. Now we're going to do a I do power now. Then I can go in for six, seven, eight, uh, six, twelve. Yeah, let's do power now. We'll actually get more power off doing the military challenge. Oddly enough. Now he can defend a military. He can defend a military for seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we just attack with those two. We attack for uh, for eleven. And if I'm wrong, we just nightmares him. Oh no, we can't. Brand's right there. Well done, Davy. Kill him to get in the power yet. We're done. Uh, I think we just go Winter Festival.
Okay. So might as well whack that out. Let's whack him out. Um I swear I saw a sea bitch. Oh, that's some, yeah, I think he corrected it, didn't he? Now I think about it. So this is a obviously a false banner deck. So the, so the only Stark I've seen so far is Bran. So the Dawn from Members to me would be uh, quite an obvious include. Ooh. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> Not actually sure that's actually worth it. <laughs> now I think about it, uh, I guess it is. I think it gives me plus one strength for nothing. Okay, that's interesting. So now we're going to do the military with those three, and we're going to stealth him so he now can't defend. And what's he got for power? So he probably could defend this. But let's find out. Would mean that he could basically anything he's doing back is one challenge with these guys. If he does. So he's going for it. Okay. Okay, so we're now winning by one. And we're done. So here comes the power challenge. We can't defend this. Oh, see, bitch. Oh, I close to the wave, right. We're up to ten. Um Valada Harris, that is fine by me. That I can live with. And you think I was really worried it was going to be um, something, <laughs> something a bit better than that. <coughs> a proper valor. It's weird that. So that's five. We're gonna have seven, seven gold. So we could get those two out with another one of those. Oh, we got rid of Asher. Interesting. So we might need to get. <coughs> sorry. Oh, sorry guys. I had the wrong pivot, right? No, no chance. That's fine. Um, yeah. 
Need my lord can't hit anything. Okay, two gold left. So we put the dupe and Eamon, we put that out, we put him out, and we do that and go done. Love these guys. Look, four power. A sneezy Riker. Uh, well, they're saying I've gone through many cards. This is the, problem, the one thing I have found on this deck. If you don't see Pip, uh, your card draw is very limited. So we've got a power challenge. Sure. That's fine by me. Let me just do some maths here. So win the military. So that's three power. Four, five. Potentially take Don for six, maybe not. Might need another turn. We should do Clash of Kings at that point anyway, don't we? And just go with, go for it. Don't let it freeze. This is waiting for opponent. Nope, then over for it. There we go. We'll give you two power. So he's done. So we're going to start with Intrigue. Okay. Oh, that's a good card to get rid of. So if I do the military, he can defend for 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And we can attack for 8, 12, uh, 8, so 8, 13. So we have to start with the power challenge at this point. Yeah. Military for a gabillion seventeen. He can't get that high. We grant give him two power. Apply claim. And does that include crossing? Have I got Dom to win the game? Risen. Risen, really? Okay. I <laughs> Seems it. Uh, we're done. Winter Festival, Dom. Good game. See so, yeah, how that kind of worked. Ah. Thank you. So that works. Six power on the Hot Forest Hunter. <laughs> I think my opponent's deck probably would have worked better if I'd cared about locations. But I don't care about locations.
once. So, uh, have fun. So what we got. So, ooh, Tyrell Summer. So Tyrell can be one of the weaker matchups, if I'm honest, uh, from what I've seen so far. Um, I think I've got a mulligan this, unfortunately, because although I've got the econ I want, I haven't really got a setup to go with it. And I guess I could just go. No, it's mulligan. That's better. That's much better. Okay, so what can we do here? We can go with that. Good morning, so Davy. How's X Wing treating you? Um, good, uh, well, good so far today. Um, I've still won that one. It's got a, the deck. I have a winning record of the deck. Oh, I love these guys. Oh, no, he's basically got a better version of my guys. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I, I, I really enjoy the deck. It's fun. I'm not sure it's a um, a winner. As in, I'm not sure it's like a, a tier one top deck, but it's just good fun. It's just really good fun. Uh, I don't think this is going to be banned to bridge because he's got um, Apple Knights, so that makes it a bit dangerous. It could be, I could be wrong. Okay, now I've got a difficult decision. Oh, I know he's knighted him. <laughs> awesome. And <laughs> how many dupes? Wow. Oh, we've got all three copies of John in hand. Boo, it's just knights. No, knights are the best Tyrell decks. I love knights. I would be playing knights if um, Thrones DB wasn't down. Okay. Okay, got to think here. So we can get John out. Let's just do it. Let's just get John out. Why is it? Uh, oh, there we go. Okay. That's how good they are. I'm having to crave in it. <laughs> yeah, this is the second game, obviously. I got about. Oh, I've got another hour, actually. So we should get a couple more games in. John Snow. So military of not good. Let's go unopposed. Uh, we will draw a card because why wouldn't we? Um, we'll target him. We'll use Amen to save him. Right then, think about this. Um, I don't necessarily want to feed him more power. Can you defend with one challenge? From uh, I think we probably do the. Let's probably just do a military. See what happens. I mean, worst case scenario, I lose and draw some cards. Seems pretty good to me. Mm. 
So he's going to defend for four, so I win. Nice. We'll kill him. I assume it's just he's going to die. Which he is. So then we'll do a power challenge. So I think he's got the option here. If he defends with Renly, obviously that means the entry goes through. If he doesn't defend with Renly, then obviously I just get the power. Obviously his abilities... I probably would move it to the house card, I guess. So move on to John rather than the house card, I guess. Uh, although I would obviously be getting a power... I will be getting power on the house card anyway. But I think it's probably best on Jon Snow because then it can't be claimed at a later date. He does not defend the challenge. Um, no, we're going to pass. We're just going to put it on the house. We're going to get another one on there anyway. And then let's do an intrigue. He obviously wants to stop my third power. Nice yeah, draw a card. Oh, we're back. I need to get work out. This one works because I was struggling with that yesterday. Okay. 3 2. But being fairly good. Our combo is almost together. Um, I think I'll potentially just go Winter, winter Festival here. Or do I get Counter? Yes, go Winter Festival. No, no. Uh, uh, 27 gold. Got the Deep for Riker. Let's do it. Ooh, Wildfire. Okay, that's probably a turn too early, if I'm honest. Um, we're actually going to kill Eamon here, which is going to sound bonkers, but he's probably the worst card in hand. Uh, so he's, these, this, 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 I've got the combo set up now, especially with a dupe of Riker in hand and two dupes on John. I feel a bit safer. Okay, so deep for him. Put him out and let's put him out and go done. So this guy's fantastic. He's basically a half price. Now we've got Rykart, he's basically a half price ranging party um, with one less strength. Uh, goal, to, goal to effect ratio, that seems pretty good to me. Obviously, we're just going to, need to put all the power onto Jon Snow because um, currently we now can't save the, this, this guy. We don't want him to get valored. Uh, it's Tyrell, so you always assume there is a valor in the deck. Satin hands judgment. Oh, what does he give me? You seen the pledge barge, Knight of Summer growing strong, and House Florin Knight actually could be quite frustrating at this point. Yep, that would get rid of him. He reached it, the House Florin Knight. did take the house fire night. Well that completely wrecks my plans for this turn anyway. Should put Assassin out. Dang it. <laughs> we'll put Assassin out. I'd be safe. He would just discard Saturn. Oh well. It happens. Yeah. It's, it's the right move. <laughs> okay. Hmm. 
Okay, let's do it. Yeah, so the deck I was hoping to play today was um, sim similar. I mean, actually, it was, was not similar to this because it's a low, low, low cost curve. It was basically Voltron, um, Green Apple Knights. So you have three noble lineages, and there's a lot of Tyrell Knights which are power intrigue. Uh, sorry, military intrigue. So by giving so the noble lineages aren't just wrecked. Super friendly, makes sense. And then we'll do the intrigue. We're done. He comes in, wins a power challenge. We take Dom. I think I'm actually going to go counting coppers this turn. Um, I want to see one. I want to try and see, find another one of those, uh, the haunted forest scouts. Also, I think Saturn's probably a good choice this turn because that when I do the intrigue, I can just stand John. Uh, oh no, I don't need to stand John. I can just put him in the intrigue. Yeah, I'm good at this game. <laughs> I'm talking about. <laughs> blah blah something clever. I love the just realize the username. Love the username. Blah blah something clever. Confiscation. Now let's get rid of the craven. Fair enough. Hopefully we'll find lots of negative attachments. Uh, not safer. And not safer. Awesome. That wasn't great. Uh, no econ either. Awesome. That was pretty dire. That's right. We, we can at least give um, Jon Snow the Dragonglass Dagger. No pip for another game as well. There's three copies of him in the deck. Okay, so no goals, we don't have to worry about events. We'll put that down. We'll put him out. And we go done. So we've got the military coming in. Um, I don't know what to say, I suppose. It's any issues playing retaliation.
could, he could have got that unopposed with the uh, Justin Pavilion. I don't think I defend this. So he's going to get to 10 power. 9 power, okay. So we're going to start off with a military, I think. Military. He'll probably defend with him, which is fine. Or maybe not, actually. He might want to leave him, actually, he'll probably want to leave him for the power. Then we go in and do a power challenge with these two we'll take free we'll basically then strip that off his house card and then we'll see where we are the uh the, this dagger is probably be quite is quite a useful thing right now and the next turn we just go all in whack the sword on john and just try and win off um win off around over the few turns Uh, thanks. Sorry, sorry, but I just did a comment. Uh, thanks, man. Yeah, it's very much appreciated. Glad you enjoy the show. Try to play fun, happy decks. Decks that are interesting. But yeah, it's um. What's he doing then? I assume you just defend with some of these, don't you? Like defend with him, let him die or something. I don't know. Okay, fully defending it. That's fine. And then we do power. So power for 13. He can defend for 9 and 10 and get me down to 11. No, 12, sorry. So that doesn't seem awful. Does not defend the challenge. Interesting. Okay. Um, so he can defend for nine. No, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we just get done. I'm not walking to renowned and draw. I think calling the banners is the right plot here. It gives me good initiative. It gives me nine. Give me nine gold? Yeah, nine gold. So I should hopefully be able to get set up this turn. Which is better than trading with the Pintoshi, which gives him money. Which I don't really want to be doing at this point. Okay, so can I win the game this turn? Probably not, so let's let him go first. Eamon's dead, isn't he? Yes, he is. <laughs> Don't worry, I clicked on the dead pile. He's right at the top. <laughs> it's his lack of power icons currently is hurting him. That's going to speed things up a bit. Um, why are you... Oh, yeah, I was say, why would you pleasure your barge after you've already played... Or you run out of gold? Because obviously you want to sacrifice cards. Okay. All right, so we put that out. Nil that to gain gold.
Is this only why a knight's attacking alone? Sorry. Yeah. Oh, of course, the uh, plot. Hang a second. So he played that to get cards for him and then played two of the cards out. Deep of Aemon, which is dead, and a Hand's Judgment, which I've got a second one of, so that's we're okay with that. So, what can you defend a power challenge for? One, two, three, four, five, six, uh, so six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six. The most we've been able to attack for is a lot less than that, so I think we just pass at this point if he um while we're doing challenges. And probably go Clash of Kings to try and or just go probably to go Winter Festival to try and see it out. Yeah, so I think this deck might need Valida Harris because we saw in the last game Valida Harris didn't really slow us down and right now Valida Harris would cripple this board state. There we go, Clash of Kings, that's it. We do Clash of Kings, we use Ghost to stealth past... Um, uh, Renly, and then we just go. Then, then we can hopefully just win off that. So we're done. And I think he's going to go for the knight, the knight plot with all the knights going renowned. Uh, Tony of the King, I believe. Yep. So we're going to go first. Okay. So we've got to be really careful here. Because he can potentially just win on the defense. I think he's yeah, he's just won. We can't we can't get past all this, unfortunately. Let's give it a go. Let's do the intrigue first and see if he messes see if he messes up. Um. 
let's see if he's got 4, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 30. Well, now he's got a lot less. That has actually just made things interesting. Right. So now we do military. Stealth him. So that's 5, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. And we can attack for 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. More. Then I need to have a power icon standing. Um, five. So 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 24. And what do I say you can get to? 21, do I say? 4, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, no, 4, uh, 12. <coughs> 9, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. He's got one gold there. That's a growing strong. I just lose, but I think I'll lose it anyway. So <clears throat> I can leave a. So I can just attack with 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. No. So it has to. Ooh has to be all of them. Ah, uh, should put him in and left one of those standing. We still got the two bows though. Then you have three, four, five, six, seven, uh, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. And I'll be attacking for a lot less. <laughs> we still got a nil one of these, I think I just win doing I don't think I do actually. I only have to go that strong into the power challenge. Oh, and we've got the two bows. Let's have to go that far as he just wins on the defense. Okay. Of him, I imagine. Yeah. Okay. So now we do power for 14. So he does 4, 8, 9, no, for God's sake, Ben, 8, uh, 8, 18. I'm attacking for 14 and I've got two bows. I win the game. Man, that was, that was hard maths. Oh no, Rennie's Pavilion! No! Ah, rubbish. Right, so it's one, one, two, three, right. Ah, they're working today. They weren't, were not working yesterday. Forget Renny's Pavilion, forget it exists. One, two, damn, he's remembered it. One, two, three, four, five renowned, and the unopposed. Yeah, it's a good game, he's won. 
Ah, I did all the maths and forgot about bloody Rennie's Pavilion. Ah, never mind. Almost did it though. I'm thinking this deck does need Valor the Harris then. Uh, he just does a military. Good game. And you know I think so if I had as I worked it afterwards, if I had put him into the military and attacked with the ranging party, I think we win. But never mind, that's what we learned. That's what that's what we've learned from this one. Frustrating trying to animal your deck to our, Yeah, I know it is, isn't it? I, I was gonna do that earlier and I thought sod it, no. Never mind. Uh, thanks for the game. Ooh. Right, let's get try probably got time for one more. So, do I think Valor the Harris needs to go in? Maybe. I may have time for two more, depending on how fast this goes. So, I definitely think this deck's got legs. I still don't think it's um, as good as a Tyrell version, because uh, I think Apple Knights are better. Uh, by, by a fair bit. Oh, Stark Winter. You don't see that very often. Um, I think we keep. I reluctant to mulligan that because we had a lot of the good combo pieces. Okay, well, I got no jumping text, that's fine. And these guys are great for him. Um, do I do here to serve? So this is winter. Uh, I think if we do here to serve, we have two gold. Which will be enough to get him out. I would have Eamon, so yeah, that seems good. That seems less good. We have two claim. He's going first. Interesting. I guess with him, it potentially makes sense to go first. Do I need to try? Do I need to burn this? To try and get more out. I've got no one-cost characters. So that probably isn't going to be that helpful. That's fine. We can take the loss of one character on the chin. See if he's got um. Oh. Okay. This is going to sound bizarre. But I'm going to use a King's Road to get a two-cost character out, just so I have one gold left for Hand's Judgment in case he's got um, Winter's Coming. Which is a strong possibility. He's got one gold. Okay. Okay. So now that's not a possibility. So that's off the cards. So this is just two claim. So I'm not, that changed that plan. That, that literally changes everything. So we'll put him out. And that's it. I think this is going to be quite an attritional game. Don't hit the King's Road. Ah, I hit the Hand's Judgment. Great. Uh, well, there is a Winter Soldier. Yeah. 
so I like these guys. Just why is it winter plot revealed? Be good. Not many summer plots in here, which, uh, in fact, there's no summer plots in here, which for me is quite a rarity, actually. <laughs> I quite like my summer, I normally quite like my uh, summer plots. Oh, we lost the dragon last tag as well. I forgot to claim. Uh, Lady's not the, the short in this. Uh, no, she's not. Not the intimidate one. Oh, should have defended. Oh, you numpty Davy. Should I? Sh I'm not thinking straight. Um, should have defended because um, he was dying anyway. So that was that was silly. That was very silly. Do an intrigue, which feels bad having to kneel him. Oh, so it's a wilding Tekken here. And then we'll do the military just to make him defend. The next turn we'll do calling the banners and that should give me enough money to be able to get some sort of um, setup. Should have defended that. That was a mistake by me. Oh well. Discard down. What to lose one card? Okay. Right now, I'm thinking ghost is potentially the worst card in my hand. Uh, yeah, because assassin's at least low cost. Race the miss. So my reserve is free this turn. Okay, so uh, let's make him go first. Okay, that changes things up a little bit. So now I've got something to die. We can potentially get that out. We'll go down to free gold. Get that out and get. I oh, know we have more than that, won't I? Because of course it's a blooming. Um, so I've got my gold, my normal gold to come. So he's got eight gold. That's quite a bit. <laughs> Stark and Igret, and he's going down to two. He's only got two cards in hand, so he's really going to town on this. Um, so that could put him out to five gold. Let's do that. Let's speed this up a bit. And then next turn, depending on how many characters survive, do we go? I'm down to reserve, so I don't really care in that respect. Um, sure, I have the power. So we do a military for free. If I power for intrigue for free, uh, strain intrigue. That's fine by me. Just don't hit John Snow. Don't hit John. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to start off with intrigue. We put all of them in. No, let's not put him in. We do an intrigue for free.
cool. And we'll do a military. Do I actually want him in there? So if we do a military, we do a military for five, he can fully defend that, so come on. Let's kill some characters. And we have no power in the house. Oh no, well, we're gonna win Dom actually, aren't we? We have a power in the house guard. That was a silly sentence. So we're gonna go Quorum. Uh, he's probably the best character to kill because he's quite high strength. And he killed this I just went to first steward. And we're done. We take Dom. So we're just going to go trading because he's only got two cards in hand. So I'm quite happy to give him some money. And then we can get Jon Snow out. But kind of regretting now putting that on him, but it's not the worst case scenario. Once Jon's out, it kind of doesn't. It's not, if we get Riker out, it doesn't really make a difference out of those two who gets it. Uh, it just really comes down to saves from Eamon later if there is a Valor. Ah, rubbish. So he's going to have to go in on the military because we need to stop Cap from being able to help out here. So we give him seven gold and all the draw. On top of all his draw. Fantastic. So I think we do intrigue with these two. I don't really care. I'm not, I'm not overly fussed if that doesn't go through. Um, then we do the military, depending on what he puts out. And then we do power with um, half hand. Half hand being our only power icon at the moment is quite, actually kind of annoying. So it's like intrigue for six. So if he wants to defend this, he has to defend this with a fair amount. No, oh, a rose road. Woo! So we are up to, so if this goes through, we'll get to 10 power. I do think he's going to Valor at the moment. He's pretty Valor proof right now, but that's fine because we just save these two. Um, I think we do Counting Coppers next turn. We significantly slowed him down. I mean, sure, he's going to get an unopposed military and an unopposed um, power, but we should win Dom because we've got two standing characters. We'll have, probably have more. Um, I don't know. We'll, I guess we might as well use Aemon, haven't we?
fine. You can winter is coming, Matt, if you want. Take Dom. Why didn't he do the power challenge? That seems a bit bizarre. Oh, okay. Interesting. So let's let him go first. Really interesting. So we are going to a free gold concedes. Okay. In the left of the game oh, it did take a game, okay. Um yeah, I think we had one at that turn. I'm surprised you didn't Valor. Um but yeah, we just we'd have just milked probably her. Um Craven the other one, and then we got the nightmares. Cool. What time is it? Oh, one more game as long as it's quick. So two and one today. Can't end with a losing record, which is good. It's a pick me up I needed. Targ Red Door. Now Targ is, <clears throat> yeah, this is one of the matchups I am most fearful for. I think Targ is going to absolutely cripple me. Uh, do we keep this? Uh, Eamon's not particularly great. I think we might have to try and get something better. That wasn't better. Ugh. Okay. The good news is currently he's going to struggle to win a power challenge. Uh, these hand judgments are going to be the most important cards I basically have. Marched. Okay. Interesting. That's a very interesting opener. Okay, second sons uh, are annoyance, so, because obviously because of that, and he's only strength two, isn't he? And a dragon, okay. So, um, Basically paying gold to tell them to go away for a turn, which I'm not sure that's the, the most beneficial way of using these, but um, yeah, obviously, Eamon, I can't have Eamon dying to um, Plaza, Plaza Punishment.
Okay, so that at least buys us a turn. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we're going to let him go first. I think that's a bit too early myself. I don't like. To, I wouldn't like to play it so soon. Where are the rest of my rangers? Okay. Wow. Just wow. That was bad. Does it, does it, oh, I saw Pip right at the end of the last game. Right, okay. Well, let's do the easy one to start with. Nope, that's wrong. Um, sorry. Uh, I think I've lost this no matter what I do now. Um... Yeah, I've lost this game. I didn't get uh, the setup just killed me. I was going to see, there's no point, we've only got long, I don't want to waste it on a game where I'm just going to slowly die. Good game. Uh, sorry. Yeah, there's, there's just no point. The, the game, the game's lost. I target is still the one matchup I just dread with that deck. And there's not, nothing has changed my mind on that. So um, I could actually end up losing a record now, I guess, because I have conceded, so that's 2-2. Two, two. And um, yeah, so all on this one. Yeah. The Targ still, yeah, Targ is still absolutely wrecks that deck. And the, the first time I tried playing this, uh, quite a while ago now, it was a similar problem. Uh, we've got a mulligan there, unfortunately. That's better. That is a lot better. Um, oh, God. It's not an immediate Harrow Hall and Tower of the Hand. That's amazing. Um, I think we just go for a setup turn. Let's go and get Eamon. Oh, heads. Oh, hit the econ. Okay. That's not good, but it's not as bad as hitting a character, obviously. Well, he's now, got, he's now only got five gold, so unless there's a Harold Hall in hand. Man, I'm ju uh, I just missing joining the new game. It's like work is trying to track me or something. <laughs> oh, wish I could play. I wish I could play this at work. I technically, I don't know. Technically, can this? Can you play Iron Throne on a um on an iPad? I guess I could play at work if you can do that. Mm, 
flea bottom. Oh, two bottom Adams. Okay, I hope he knows that one gold pays off both. said he didn't know that would be pretty obscene oh god okay so this is for a range trigger so what's he going in for uh six so i need to defend with both the characters oh no i don't i just need to defend with widow's whale's a thing if he's got widow's whale he wins it either way so we'll just do aemon and see what happens but widow's whale is a card Gonna stand Shay, so that's fine. We'll lose a card. Just don't be John. Don't be John. Don't be John. Yeah. God, lacking characters. <laughs> if he doesn't have the heads on spikes and hits John, we're in trouble. So we go. I think we do power. Why don't you use those? It's not very, but you can. Oh, oh, oh cool, from so your can play on iPad. Okay. I try I tried it on my phone, watching a game on my phone, but the problem is both the the the, the uh, both all the character cards end up overlapping each other. <laughs> it's, that's a nightmare. Okay, I might I might try them. Oh. If my boss is listening, I won't, of course I won't be doing this. It'd be bad. I might try playing on my night shifts. Come on, try and defend Moshe. Don't look at what this bow does. This bow does nothing. Don't worry about it. Well, that was not a bad first turn. So we just go Winter Festival, because as long as Jon Snow is alive, we can get him out, and then we'll see what else we draw. <clears throat> and we can get Jon Snow with the Dragonglass Dagger. Oh, he's going to call him the Banners. Interesting. Ah, oh, awesome. So deep for Eamon. Uh, so we're going to have 8, 9, which is just enough. Jon Snow and Pip. Oh, we can't pay the Boffer Madam this turn. That's fine. I, d I don't think that's that much of an issue. Um, I'd rather be going first. We still, oh no, no, that is a massive issue. Ah, oh, you numpty Davy. Yeah, I, I found that. I think on an iPad I might be okay, but I, I can see there being some issues. Ooh, nice. No, I needed a gold. That's a, that's a mistake. Oh well. Begging brother. Okay. So we've got to be careful of Eamon now.
what's in the bin? No characters. Okay. So you can make himself strength six, so we can defend for strength six. Uh, he's defending for five. Interest uh, for seven. Interesting. I guess Shay does stand, so there's less issues there. Oh no, he. Oh yeah, John, I win because of John Snow. I wonder if it's better just playing Wilding John Snow with Noble Lineage. Uh, he does so much. Yeah, you're potentially right, um, and that might be a deck I try. I might just swap out the Johns and see what difference that makes. Um, the problem is Noble Lineage is a dead card on pretty much every other card in this deck, bar them, the stewards, because pretty much everything has no attachments. It's one of the things I like about this deck. So I, I'm, I'm reluctant to play Noble Lineage in this deck, whereas my Tyrell Crossing deck I've been building, which I was going to play today, does have Noble Lineage in, because there's more targets for it. This is just to stop the Intimidate. And we'll just kill him because of... Uh, actually, no, no, let's make him use the Begging Brother. If he wants to if he wants to use that Begging Brother's ability on that and not something like Pip or Gren, I'm more than happy. I think we're going to win to festival again because I don't want to get into two gold because the buffer madam I really need to do a military this turn um, so I can get John trigger John Snow. Also, that's a this could affect to be beer counting coppers. Yeah, Night's Watch Reigns. I love Wilding John. Wilding John is bonkers in Night's Watch Reigns. It's one of my favourite decks. Um, I'm not 100 percent sure it's placed amazingly well in the meta but um night's watch reigns is just so much fun and as you say use wildling john and you just go nuts uh confiscation uh for the bow i guess interesting choice oh good safe for uh Right, we are, um, we are comboed up here, so this is pretty easy now, we go dupe for John, we're going to milk him, put that out, and then we're going to Craven to Janos, we're going to go done, we're going to pay the brothel madam, yes you can have a gold. But we are fully set up. Um, this is going to go badly for him. I hope. The only issue is whether I have to use John Snow on John Snow to defend against Reigns. I shouldn't. No, I might do actually. He's <laughs> got a lot of intrigue icons. But that's then fine, because then Pip... What? This is the power? Okay. I know she can stand, but then you can... Uh, okay. You can have power. That's fine by me. Gives me power to steal with Gren. Okay, very confused. Very, very confused. Uh, 
Uh, no chance for me. Good game. Well played. Yeah. Thanks. Make good game. He's going to go. Yeah, I'm fully set up at this point. So what the next three cards have been. Let's do it. Draw three. Yeah, that would be been a pretty good turn. And then show and then we're getting those two yeah we're we've uh, we almost got the power icons as well on demand so yeah that was pretty he's i think he was right to concede i don't that had to be an intrigue though he had to try and push through the intrigue to try and trigger rains to wildfire or something i didn't quite get that okay can't how about, no, I really don't have time for another game. Right, guys, thank you very much. I will uh, put I will be putting this video up on YouTube later. If anyone with a, in the description, I'll put the, the deck list. Um, I'm still undecided about it a little bit. I, I love it. I think it's a I think it's a good deck. I'm not sure it's um, you know top tier, but I think it's a good deck. Anyway, as always, guys, thank you very much for watching, and as always, it has been emotional. <laughs>